Hello and thanks for joining. Today's topic is going to be a quick math topic on determining the percentage increase um, when values change. I wanted to quickly point out uh, all of these tutorials will be posted on my website which is www.10minutetrain.com and here's some other links uh, that may be helpful to you. So with that said I'm going to jump right in here and the, show you the formula for determining the percentage increase. So what you do is you take the new value and you subtract the original value out of uh, from that and then you divide the original value into that number and that will give you the um, percentage increase. So what I also wanted to do was show you another example you may have instead of needing the percentage you might want to figure out what the new value would be based on a percentage increase and so in order to do that I did a quick example here. What you want to do is do your original value so let's say your salary is $475 a week and you get a 3.8 percent raise. This is the formula to do that. You do your original salary $475 times one point xx where xx is equal to the new uh, or the percentage raise that you're getting. So in this case it's going to be 475 times 1.038 and of course um, when percent when using percentages 3% is zero is 0 0.03 not 0.3 or 3.0. Okay so 10% would be 0 0.10, 5% 0 0.05 you, I think you get the idea. Um, and that comes out to 493.05. And here's an alternative. Instead of using the um, original salary times one point, the percentage, you can do the original salary plus calculate the, calculate the amount of the increase, which is originally original salary times a percentage increase. And that's done here for you. So I'm going to jump right in here and show you, show you this on uh, walk, uh, walk through it here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk you through um, calculating a percentage increase. So if we take a beginning salary, let's calc let's uh, that is thirty-eight thousand dollars, and then we have our new salary. is thirty-nine thousand one hundred and forty dollars. Okay, so the formula is going to be new value, I'll just make label it NV, so that's your new salary, minus original value, I'll label it OV, and then I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna divide that with the original value. So in this case, that is going to be equal to new value 39,140 minus the original value of 38,000 and then I'm going to divide that I'm going to divide the original value into it okay so that comes to 39,140 minus 38,000 is going to be equal to $1,140 and then I'm going to divide 38,000 into it. Okay, you can do it the long way here. Obviously, I could do 38,000 divided into 1140. And you can obviously see that that's going to need to be a decimal there. Then you're going to need to carry a 1 over. And you can see that that is also going to be a 0 because 38,000 is less than 11,400. And then you're going to add another 0 and that's going to give you your 3% and then you're going to keep doing it. So what I did here is I'm going to I did the formula here. I showed you beginning salary 38,000, new salary 3940. And then here's your formula. 39140, the new value minus the original value divided by the original value. And the result of that is displayed here in this formula and it comes out to 3%. So what you can do here is make sure that your answer makes sense. So your 3% is going to equal, or you're going to plug it into a formula here. So you're going to do 38,000 times 1.03. 3. 
And you got zero, zero, zero. Three times eight is 24. So carry the two. Three times three is nine, 11. Then I'm going to have all zeros across here since zero times zero, zero times anything zero. And then one, I'm going to multiply that out. One times zero, zero. One times zero. One times zero. One times eight. And one times three. And of course, there's nothing carried there, so let me get rid of that. So now, I'm going to add these up. Zero, 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 four, one, nine, three. And I've got two decimal places to bring back in here. There's my decimal place, $39,140. So we've done that correctly, and that's what I want to share with you today. Thanks for joining.